And good morning, it is 7.46 Friday, November the 2nd. Bob Proctor's in this morning. His book is You Were Born Rich. Got an email from the boss last night saying Bob will change our lives in three minutes and he's doing that this morning. What's the first process somebody should take? Sit down and decide what you want. Don't give any consideration to how you're going to get it. It doesn't matter how much money you've got, what your resources are. It's what do you want. And then you've got to get a picture of yourself already in possession of it. Mm. And everything else will follow. You're taught that in the Bible. You're taught that in scientific work. Anybody that has anything to do with the mind understands it. But we're not taught this as kids in school. Here's a really strange thing, Mark. You can teach a child before they're five, five languages, even more. Mm. But there's all kinds of kids learn four and five languages. They're never taught how to earn money. They're not taught anything about themselves. We can go right through our life and not learn anything about earning money. And we've got to the point where people say, well, money's not important. That's usually people that haven't got any that are saying that. Money's vital. <laughs> <laughs> but then in terms of sitting down and working out what you want, is there a problem in the world today with the interpretation of wants and needs? Because what I want is to have a wonderful, happy family. But a lot of people are, you know, especially with the media's involvement, told that their aspirations should be more of the tangible base, uh, you know, the financial things, the nice car, the nice house, and they'll climb over anyone to get up that ladder to get it, missing the actual game. Well, you see, when you say you want a, you want a, a, a great family, that's a condition that all thinking people want. And going after something higher, it's not to get it, it's to grow. Goals are not set to acquire stuff. Goals are set to grow, to reach for it, to tap into this reservoir of talent and ability that we've got. We're God's highest form of creation. There's nothing on the planet that will equal us. You see, all the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. They blend in. You and I, we're the only creature that's totally disoriented. And that is because we've been given the mental faculties to create our own environment. But most of us act like the animals. We don't think. We just wander around, follow the guy next door who's probably following us. Mm. What about karma? Talk to me about that because, uh, you know, I've got a simple, I'm not a religious guy, but a simple belief. Why aren't you guys ask, asking questions? We're just listening. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go, Mark, you go. Emerson said that's the law of laws, the law of cause and effect. What you put out's coming back. Yeah, you As give one, you get two, you take one, you lose two. When you simple. put it out, you take on an equal amount of like energy with the fact you're putting it out. Your mind, your, your brain is an electronic switching station. And when you think, you're activating brain cells and you're sending off a charge of energy that can be measured. It can even be photographed. But as your brain's sending that off, it's picking up an equal amount of like energy with you sending it out. Oh, God, you're speaking today at 9 o'clock, aren't you? 9 o'clock. 9.30. 9 9 30. 9 30. 30. Healthy Living Show, Viaduct Event Centre. Yeah, there. there you have it. Healthy Living Show, Viaduct Event Centre. Any more tickets available? Because I might just come down. <laughs> there is indeed. You can book online. Dub, dub, dub. Uh, online. Healthy Living Show. Co. Healthy Living Show. Co. There you go. There you go. But I'm going to show you how it works. I'll well, put. Good. I'll put. I'll put uh, slides up on the screen. I'll show you exactly how your mind works. I could show you. I could teach anyone. To glance at a person, you can tell what they're like. Their body is the physical manifestation of their mind. Oh, good Lord, Stu. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what Mark's like, looking at him. <laughs> give us a rundown. Well, you're a very left brain. You're a left brain guy. I never try and sell you anything in a hurry. I give you facts and figures, and I take my time. Because you're going to make up your own mind anyway. Now, the lady wow. behind you, she That's operates in the right hemisphere of her brain. She's got high energy. It's just flowing into her. She'll make decisions very quick. What about uh, Amber over there? Amber? Amber, Amber's an interesting, an interesting lady. She operates from both the right and left hemisphere of yeah. her brain. She so. will have, there's part of her that's impulsive, and the other part cuts in and said, Amber, I don't think you should do that. I'm a Gemini. So she's got to do it, don't do it, going on all the time. That's very confusing. Stu, <laughs> I don't think, I don't I think we need to go there. I would never want to try and stop Stu doing something. He's going to go right through a brick wall to make it happen. Well, it's very it's exciting. Wow. Wow. You, you've, you, I think you've nailed everything. Absolutely. What about Chang? Let's go for Chang. See, he's hard to read this one. Producer <laughs> Chang, what do you think? Chang isn't hard to read. Chang is something like Amber. He operates both the right and left hemisphere of his brain. Wow. wow. Okay, so, Stu, you, you and Listen, I... Uh, I can glance at a person and tell you what they're like because their body telegraphs to you. Really? Most people are not aware. Listen, when you were a baby, you couldn't tell the difference between a man and a woman. Oh, really? 
what you, you couldn't do. A baby can't tell the difference. A baby has to develop that awareness. At a very early age, though, we stop developing awareness, and then we cut in the intellect's important. Two plus two equal four. We never develop the higher side of our own personality. We've got phenomenal powers locked up within us. What percentage well, of the brain do we use? Because I'm hearing oh, we use I about mean, two. Percentage and... of the brain, it, it, that is a ridiculous way of looking at it, really, Mark, because no one knows. Yeah, You're dealing well, with infinite potential. But the brain in... is just an instrument that taps into the mind. Mind and the brain are two different things. The brain is the physical manifestation of mind. Because it's back part in of the body. Back in the 70s, they reckon they unlocked a few windows, didn't they? Well, they've learned a lot <laughs> since the 70s. <laughs> well, this is exactly what you need for a Friday. If you want to check out Bob Proctor today at 9.30, the Viaduct Event Centre. HealthyLivingShow.co.nz. He'll also be speaking tomorrow at 9:30. HealthyLivingShow.co.nz. Thank you so much. Wow, that was incredible. My pleasure, Amber. Stu, Mark, I've enjoyed it. Cool. BobProctor.com. If you want to check him out online. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, sir.